Okay, I'm on. Leave only footprints, take only photographs, guys. We haven't actually paid for this camping yet. Hello, we were just leaving, I almost forgot to pay. It's a cool machine, isn't it? Look at that. Thank you. Bye bye. Apparently we've still got 18 pounds in our account left. Woohoo! But I think that's it now. I think that's it. I think we've got nothing left. <laughs> Guys, you've got to go to our Etsy store. <laughs> the link is in the description where you can buy t-shirts. You can buy key rings like this one here, Happy and Alive. You can buy snoods like, I don't know if you guys can see it, this one, our Overlander snood, our Overlander tees, Happy and Alive tees, if they're in stock. But a lot of this trip is funded by the Etsy store, so if you want to support the channel, then please head to the link in the description and get something today. Or what you could do as well, if you are two people watching at the moment, one of you take out your phone and just go on YouTube and search our video and just turn it on and put your phone to the side. You don't need to look at it. Just to have like an extra view. <laughs> we'd have twice as many views. Don't do things together, guys. Just do it separately. Or just, just watch us on all of your devices all at the same time. Yes. And then we can have five times as many views. Yes. <sighs> this is how it works. Let's break YouTube together, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. We paid inside. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It is day 20 of our adventure on the Trans Euro Trail, riding 2,000 miles off-road through England and Wales to reach the border to Scotland. And today, this morning, we are in the Peak District National Park. We got here yesterday and started on the amazing trails over the moorlands, through the valleys of this beautiful area. But we are only halfway through this national park. We've still got some amazing trails to come today. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we are gonna be rejoining the trail around here before heading north around Sheffield, ready to explore the new county of South Yorkshire. Yes, after a massive loopy bit going back and forth and back and forth inside this national park, it looks like the trail is starting to straighten out a bit. We're hoping to just get as far north as we can because I think there's some really bad weather on the way. Welcome to England. <laughs> <laughs> the forecast is kind of 50-50 at the moment. A lot of people have been messaging us like, guys get as far as you can. There's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. Yeah, I mean people said seriously, from Monday on, the summer is over. And uh, what is today? Monday. <laughs> We're just going to try and push as far north as we can and just keep praying that these grey clouds are not going to turn into rain. So it's just a quick five miles ride to uh, join back with the trail. And it's already 10.50, so better hit the trails, let's go! <laughs> Yay! What a nice trail! And look how much purple like i think it's heather look how many purple flowers there are around here i love this environment so much it's super super pretty super pretty it's proper moorland around here <laughs> don't know why i did that in a scottish accent but anyway looks like all over the place like that in scotland obviously a gate uh-oh what bull <laughs> in field can we get through this little one yeah yeah. Oh, but the weather doesn't look good. Oh my god, look behind you. Oh. Is it raining literally just where we were? Let's go, go, go. <laughs>
Wow, what a trail. What a trail, hey? Beautiful trail. Yeah. We've just got the Ted be all the way like that, hey? I know. Oh, a little bit of sand riding. Woo! Nice. Yes, we are off-road riders. <laughs> Guys, do you know what the funny thing about this trail here is? This trail was actually the trail me and Ollie were practicing with Bumblebee on. This was actually our first off-road trail we did together on Bumblebee and we massively failed. I'm going to try and go up this rock but I might have made a mistake. <laughs> And we thought, oh my god, that's like really, really difficult. And now we're flying along, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to come pretty soon to the exact point where we both went up over that rock. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we failed very miserably when we first came on this road but it's going to be really nice to get back to that exact point go up that exact same rock and conquer it <laughs> whoa look at this vintage i don't know i think it's a vintage defender oh my god guys i remember exactly this corner that I'm on right now, this is the corner that I came round Bumblebee on my very first time off-road. Before Lavi and I jumped on together, I came down here on my own. Big wide turn. I came round this corner, up the hill. Big wide turn, keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. <laughs> and then fell into the bush over there. So now it's time to take on this hill again and conquer it. Let's go. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Easy peasy, hey? <laughs> Lemon squeezy. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is it. This is the rock. This is the exact rock where on our first time off-road, Lavi and I on Bumblebee, we came down this slope. I don't, I don't know why I picked this side of the road, to be honest, considering that this side is very nice and open and flat. Well, that's not what I chose. I chose to come down here and hit into this massive rock. What were we thinking? I don't know. We came up over here and then fell down here wow. and I think I hit my leg on this yeah. rock <laughs> and it was a pretty big fall we broke the clutch lever you found it. Hey, you that into a necklace. yeah I mean the bike was like really upside down eh it's a serious rock eh what the hell <laughs> it's actually bigger than I was thinking yeah me too wow crazy what memories hey yeah more than two years ago we were right here with Bumblebee falling over but you know what i want to go up this rock okay do it just to teach it who's boss i'm going to take charlie up this rock okay, come on come charlie on, let's, let's do it, it. <laughs> let's do it charlie let's beat this rock it's <laughs> quite a big rock actually isn't it whoa oh my god wow Okay, you can see exactly what we did with Bumblebee. Did you see that? Because you're coming at it from a side angle, so it just knocks your front wheel this way, and then you just go, Poof. I did it. I did it. Yes. Screw you, Rock. Ha ha. You broke my clutch lever. <sighs> you may have won that battle, but you certainly didn't win the war. <laughs> I do the nice ones. Seriously, it's so nice to just ride around 
these beautiful trails here. And I think it will be a really good preparation for me to ride overseas. I've just taken my motorbike license, you know, and I'm, I'm not very experienced, but it's like you get a lot of experience just to see like different road surfaces and to see how you tackle them. So it's cool. It's really cool. Whee! But obviously there are always a gate to shut. Oh, this looks a little bit rutted here now. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I wanted to go in the middle, but I fell already here to the side. Oh, I was switching out to the middle. Okay, let me see if I can do the same. I did it! <laughs> okay, I will go up the middle as well. Nice and easy. Oh, a little bit rocky here, but not too bad. Yep, not too bad. <laughs> easy as. Easy, easy peasy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, nice. Woo! The bike is just flying along underneath me, isn't it? Whee! Second gear, let's go. Yeah, guys, seriously, if you want some nice riding, you have to go to the Peak District. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, these roads are stunning. Really, really stunning. So we saw that there was a Greg's in this little town right here called Penistown. Well, the locals probably pronounce it Peniston, but still. I just saw it on the map, I thought, yep. Let's go for lunch in Penistown. Look, that's how it's spelled, look. Or penis stone? <laughs> penis stone. Oh, here's Greg's. Hello. The land of cheap pastries and coffee. It wasn't like our intention to get a pizza, but... For $7.99, you can't walk away from something like this. What? <laughs> Is that a bit too much? Yes. Nice. <laughs> bon appetit! Oh, it's a proper industrial little looking village here. Look at this. With this like black stone and this big chimney. This little village is called Peckett Well. We're really coming up into the Yorkshire Dales now. Look at this. Got some beautiful big rolling landscapes. And I, I kind of feel like this is the way the weather's supposed to be when you're up here on the moors. You know, just grey, a little bit rain. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this place. We are back on the trails. Yeah, according to the map, we are just coming up on top of the Walshaw and Lancashire Moor. So we're really getting into the north of England. Yay. Head to Yorkshire. The rainy north. And obviously we are welcome with the gate. Oh, look, there it says, Walshaw and Lancashire Moor. Beautiful. Yeah. There you go. Look at the surroundings here. Stunning. You know what? It actually looks marginally brighter up ahead. Yeah, this is where we're going. Very, very pretty place. Oh, hold on. A little bit, little bit of a climb. Yeah, stand up. First gear, let's do it. Yes, here we go. Nice. No problem. See, you are improving. And actually, you didn't fall today at all. 
No, not at all. Or uh, even yesterday, hey? I think I even didn't fall yesterday, did I? Let's see if I can just remain like this until the end of the trip now, hey? Hey, you're becoming a pro now. The days of falling over for Lavi and Ollie are over. <laughs> until we change the bike. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got this like standing up, balancing off-road skills, if you get those skills down, you can transfer those skills to any bike. Okay, yeah, of course there's going to be a learning curve with each one, but the fundamental, you know, standing up, balancing, looking for a route, if you can master that on this bike, you can transfer those skills. Oh, got a bit of a rocky downhill now. Should I go in first gear? Yep, I'm going in first. And it's just about, it's about keeping the clutch open. Yep. Clutch is open. Yeah, and just sort of keep rolling down. Mm -hmm. Try to keep a little bit of pressure on the throttle yep. to keep yourself pushing forward. Yep. And here, make sure you go round to the left here because it's a bit of a step. Okay. Okay. You all right? Oh, oh, oh. You all right? Hey, look at you, still standing. <gasps> Oh god. You're nearly here, you're nearly there. Huh? I nearly got a heart attack there. Oh, oh god. Oh. You did it. Good job. <laughs> oh god. Yes. Oh god, Ollie. No, it's, it's, it's a little bit... Oh god. It's a little bit too much. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, I could just go, go here on the edge. Oh! 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 There was a little bit of a steep bit there. <laughs> Bloody hell. What's going on here? Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh God. That's got to be one of the gnarliest downhills we've ever done, seriously. And we both stood up the whole time, so that is pretty awesome. So there we go, what a beautiful moor. But it's now nearly 5 p.m. So it's time for us to leave the trail for today. And we've actually been invited to stay at the place of a friend of ours called John. And John has been a supporter of our channel and our adventures for a long time. And he even rode all the way from here in Yorkshire all the way down to Dover to welcome us in on our last ride from Dover to London on our around the world trip. So that's just so lovely that you would come all that way to come and support us. So now we've come all this way to the north to come and see you, John. 
It's really interesting actually because you see how black all these buildings are. Well they're not actually supposed to be black, like the stone itself is not black because you can see from these buildings you've got one black and then next to it you've got a beige, like a sandstone building. Well the only reason that all these buildings are black is because of all the smoke and soot from all of the industrial buildings and from the chimneys which of course has been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years and I can imagine that back in the Victorian times this place was really really smoggy and smoky and yeah it basically stained all of the buildings yeah I mean look at this one it's like totally black we're in the industrial north oh no literally in the last five miles of our day we've got rain it's finally coming down on us. We've run out of time. We've run out of luck. Oh, bugger. And we stayed so dry. Oh, go away. Go away. Just go away for like 15 minutes more, please. Just let us get to John's inside to safety and then rain all you want for the whole night, except on the trail where we're going tomorrow. Don't rain there. Oh, there he is. Oh. There he is. <laughs> Hello, hello! <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Alright, hello! How's it going, Peter? Alright? Alright! Nice to see you, nice to see you, nice to see you! <laughs> hello! Oh, how are you? Alright, which time you, have you had to pick them up today? None! No, today, no. <laughs> No, today was great. I think even yesterday, no falls. It was still a pretty gnarly trail today. Like, yeah, still, yeah. 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 It's always a surprise how difficult, you know, with the up and the down and then rocks everywhere. And bring them round. Okay. So where are we going? This way? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, look what we have here. <laughs> oh, yes. We're at a curry house having all of this lovely, lovely stuff. We've got a tikka masala, we've got a makani, a makani, and what, what's your one? A shashlik nawabi. Uh, mm. Shashlik nawabi, which I've never even good. heard of. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm. One hour later. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I am totally stuffed. <laughs> totally <laughs> stuffed. Oh, we've got a mint. Mm, yummy. <laughs> you say that curry house has been there for the past 40 years? Oh, 40 years, never changed hands. Same it's, owner, same everything? Same owner, he's had it for that long. But it must mean that it's like good enough quality that he's never gone out of business as well. Yes. So it means yes. that he's, yeah. yeah, he's doing it right. Yes, mm. yes. Wow. Yeah. It'll be a sad day whenever he retires. Yeah.